Hey everyone, this is Kai from Growth PJ. I will be speaking at Measure Summit to talk about tech fundamentals for marketers. See you there. Now today, marketers have a lot more stuff, tech stuff to worry about. Every day you get bombarded by messages from the platforms that you're using. Oh, iOS updates, email deliverability, website security, app compliance, you know, making sure that your pages are Google and Facebook friendly so that you don't get banned because you're running Facebook ads or Google ads. Site speed, especially if you're dealing with SEO and tracking and tr attribution, is just something that comes up every single day, especially when you're spending ad money. You want to make sure you know where your money is going. So today, there's just so much things to worry about, so much more complicated, and which is why, uh, you know, I believe marketers should need to start adopting like a growth engineer mindset, right? And so this is how I would describe a growth engineer. Someone who is data and numbers driven, loves technology, loves automating stuff, loves to growth hack stuff with technology and is like obsessed with tracking and attribution. I'm sure you'll know somebody in your team who's like that. And the good news is like you don't need to be, you know, you don't have to picture yourself as this like introverted person who doesn't like to, you know, socialize and stuff to be a growth engineer. Right? It just requires you to equip yourself with some basic knowledge and to really get comfortable with the day-to-day -day growth engineer tools uh, in your marketing. And you know you, you can move towards the growth engineer spectrum. And I can promise you that it's going to have a ton of benefits for you. Right? you know, Besides the swaggy job title you can use, you can also make better data-driven decisions. I think this one is key. Everyone's talking about data now. So with better you know, being a growth engineer helps you make better tracking, uh, sorry, better data-driven decisions because you'll be better, be better at tracking, analytics, attribution, the, the whole shebang. You will learn how to automate a lot of your marketing processes, save you time, you can go for more happy hours at home, I think, nowadays, but uh, that's what, you know, being a growth engineer does, save you time. And ultimately, all these that we're learning is going to help your business make more money, right? Uh, not just through the growth hacks, but everything on top. Data-driven marketing, uh, automating uh, the, the manual business processes, everything can be done with tech. And obviously, you know, <laughs> Julian's videos would, would make much more sense, you know, because sometimes it can get quite technical. And so I really hope to, you know, kind of share what I believe are some tech essentials that you can uh, take in and and see if this this makes your life any better so yeah i'm gonna just jump right in uh there are four in total that's how i categorized it uh, so i'll just go through one by one the first one like the most basic level i think every marketer should learn some front-end development skills what i mean by that is html css javascript and some cool javascript libraries so basically a javascript library is you know you, if you were to do something, you want to write a code from scratch, you can, but there's other people that wrote it already and they wrote it in a much uh, simpler way which can just copy and paste the code. It makes your job, uh, life so much easier. So once you have a better understanding of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, you can do a lot of things as a marketer. For example, you can build landing pages on the fly, right? You don't need to ask a web developer to create certain because most of the time landing pages they they're more for marketing purposes rather than like a fancy looking website right uh, but yes you can build your own landing pages with all the tools available you can customize it however you want uh, if you are into conversion rate optimization right a b test using google optimize optimizely and all these tools having these html css javascript skills will take it to the next level because now you can create very uh, complex tests, something that you won't be able to do if you just relied on, oh, changing the text here, or whatever the, the tool allows you to do, right? If they allow you to, to write custom scripts, you can do a lot more different kinds of tests and, and you know, uh, impress your boss. <laughs> and then uh, dome manipulation is, is another big one. Uh, basically, in lay maintenance, it's like personalizing the web experience for your visitors. So we'll look into some examples of that later on. Uh, and lastly, will be custom scripts to enhance customer journey. Uh, 
like things like custom countdown timers on a page, for example. These are actually JavaScript in a work, right? You might not realize maybe you are just copy and pasting a script, but you, you know because you are just copying someone's library, but or plugin. Uh, but you know, in essence, all these are just scripts, JavaScripts. So once you learn JavaScript, what cool thing is you can even write your own simple scripts and customize it uh, the way you want. So uh, here's another tool I think is very useful for marketers to have. It's not really a tool, it's just something that you should know is getting really good with this concept of URL parameters, or it's also known as a query string parameter. Now, for example, if you can see here, uh, Calendly is it's a, it's a call booking uh, app where you can schedule calls through it. And uh, you know you, you may notice that sometimes in the link, there's this UTM source equals Facebook, Google. If you're using Google Analytics, you'll see this a lot as well, because these are the URL parameters that tools like Calendly and Google Analytics can read when it's in the URL. In essence, you are, you know, without going too, too technical, URL parameters are what allows you to pass data from one source to another. So if you send an email from your CRM tool and you're sending it to a Calendly link, right? as long as you put the UTM in your Calendly link, when a person clicks on the link in the email, it goes to Calendly and it books, you will know, or Calendly will know, they will store the data that these are the calls that were booked as a result of the email that you sent. So it's mostly for attribution purposes. And uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with URL parameters as well. Um, for example, I once built this uh, whole end-to-end -end tracking system. Uh, it involves cookies as well, uh, just purely using URL parameters. So, you know, creating a very uh, ragtag tracking system with Google Sheets and everything, just straight up with your parameters. Hey everyone, this is Kai from Growth PJ. I will be speaking at Measure Summit to talk about tech fundamentals for marketers. See you there.